zero zero eight. Man, did that go? <laughs> what day you gonna sing in there? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? Gonna, what we? Gonna start <laughs> You're gonna start singing that DJ. Thing. Hey, if you guys, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, if you guys really want to see the deco at the fullest capacity of the deck, the like the, 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 the thousand one, <laughs> what thousand one. The oh deco DJ DJ the deck. When we're at the Origin Immersion Camp, what what happens at camp stays at camp. All right. What happens at camp go to stays at camp. They need All to we can there. say is DJ, DJ, the deck. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. So, um, ay, ay, ay. should I call you senpei, sensei, master, professor, or Andre? Too serious? <laughs> really? really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. What, what, you know, old old school though. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, but old old school. What did you what do you call your teachers? I called masters. Master. Did ma you really? Master. Ma uh, master. Master. Yeah. You you. Man, that that would bug me. I, I don't. I mean, I don't like to, but you, you pretty much. I mean, I called De La Riva, Liborio, all of them like mast, a uh, master, mast master, master. How say master. 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 Does master. it feel weird like calling Feels somebody weird, master? Yeah. No, I mean. To call my teacher, no, but they didn't like to. They, they like, didn't no, like it call either. Call my name, no. uh, yeah. Call my name. Call my name. You know, another thing that didn't get uh, <laughs> translated quite correctly is like, tell me about the like stripes on belts. Was that how that worked in Brazil? No, no. I mean, from where I come from, which no. is some like, schools were doing the stripes. Some schools they did the stripes, what uh, they call grau, grau, Brazil, grau. Uh, yeah, some schools were doing stripes where I, where my my legend of comments uh, come from the Carson Grace lineage and uh it's didn't didn't they didn't they didn't use stripes no they didn't use uh stripes on the belts no no they they start some schools use it to do in Brazil already but very 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 few very few it's more of an Americanized it's, thing it's it starts more I don't know how it is. I mean, I've been in America 13 years. Do you do it now? Or in, and you're in the I US? I do, Pete. I do. I do. I do more for the white belts. I like to do for the white belts a lot. That makes sense. And a lot of people, it's funny. They ask me, they're like, why do you do for the white belts? It's like, because a lot of people, you do that to don't, don't, like, keep them in the training so they won't quit. They won't right, quit right. before. Actually, I don't do because of that. I don't be, do because, oh, I want to make him feel their progress, how good they're doing, how well they're doing. I don't do because of that. You know what I do? So the senior students, the higher belts know what level that white belt is. Because a white belt starts today, right? They in they've been doing for a month. And they come to a regular class, a regular open mat, the you have another purple belt there. He doesn't really know what level that white belt is until he starts grappling him. Right. So what I started to doing, I started to do the stripes so the higher belts knew what level those white belts were. This way they knew how much they could push him. So they right. know like if they don't see any stripe, they know it's brand new and they need to help. I mean right. my school have this I mean our team. You yeah. know, we we're, we're we're from the same place. Uh, but our team, and you know that, we have this mindset like everybody needs to help everybody, right? right? So I tell this, in my school, in our school, I don't have one instructor. I have, if I have 20 people on the mat, I have 20 instructors because they are always helping each other. So that's why I start using the stripe. The other students could see what level mm -hmm. those white belts were and actually help the white belts too, to... to to, nice. to stay, to, to get more into But it doesn't to so matter to you either way. It doesn't matter to no. me. I You know, it's honestly, I think it's the way that people like to do it. I don't have nothing against I mean, it's it's the way. I don't do it. You know, I don't do it. I just like to, to keep it the way that I I was. Uh, I got my belts, which it's uh, how they gave to me. And uh, yeah, I absolutely. keep it that way. But it's cool. I like it. Some, a lot of people do today, and I don't think it's any problem. With how, it. how many uh, how many black belts do you think you've awarded between Brazil and the United States? Oh, Peach, I don't know the number anymore, man. I don't know the number, but I I do believe it might be like 40, 40 something. Forty something. Yeah. 
Sometimes, like, I remember one. I'm like, oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah. You know, it's, I'm getting older. I can't remember and think anymore. You know, I'm getting older. I'm not getting younger. But I, I'm getting skinnier together. With, uh, skinnier? <laughs> getting skinnier. As I get older, I get skinnier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. The camp's coming up. Oh, yeah. What are we working on today? It looks like a guard pass. It's a guard pass. It's actually an open guard from our my feet. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... It's a, Again, it's a double... It's a double under... Pass. Now you're passing double under. Yeah, I'm a pass and double under, but I do a little something, uh, you know, it's a little tech, a little different how I do the double under from standing up. I think everyone's going to like. So the regular stand up, I like to grab the collar, and you can grab both collars together or you can grab only one side. I like to grab one side only, mm -hmm. and always the same side, you remember that. So I put same the side, arm, same side collar, collar, same side hand. Same side collar, yes. Why? Uh, if you hold cross, sometimes you make it a little easier for your opponent to cross your arm. So I go to the same side. Yep. I grab his arm on the opposite side, and I make sure I pull his arm all the way to me until my elbow sits on his knee. Okay. That's when I get up. So you're grabbing the sleeve. Mm -hmm. I saw you turned your hand up. Turned my hand up. I so like he to couldn't like regrip. Because it's hard for him to regrip. Black under. belt detail. I think so. It's yeah. it's a little detail because remember, if I leave my hand here, he's going to circle, circle and, and grab this side. Once I turn in my hand, Not I happy. hide the part. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you said you bring your elbow in, lock it to your knee. I grab my elbow all the way up. I lock to my knee and I get all the way up. Now, uh, I keep the elbow on his knee. Right. Like I rest on his knee. So I make the regular open. He opens. All the detail that I do, I pinch my both knees on his hip, on his butt. Okay. Why you don't allow his hip to go on the floor? Right. See, people, people. I think they miss that that whole thing. You're controlling the rate of descent, right? So you're controlling the rate at which his body can drop. So he can't drop and cross. He can't drop and push your knee and go into De La Kiva, right? You're yeah, you're no. pinching so he can't drop straight right to the away, mat. No, if no, you he want needs him to, to go move down, it back, yeah, he's, exactly. He needs okay. to move it back to drop. I think I, I think a lot of people miss that detail when they stand inside someone's open uh, close guard to pass. Is they just let the guy drop into an offensive position instead of controlling the rate of descent, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, and yeah, so your knees your knees are controlling the rate of descent. My knees controlling that. Yep, nice. yep. That's how how it works. And he can drop. So what I do after that, I put my both hands under hook like mm -hmm. double under. But what I do, I reach all the way across and I grab the other pant leg. Oh, you got, you're going to pass. So what I do, I open and I cross his arm. So his legs cross nice. like that and get stuck. And then I pass. Two legs become one. We've exactly. talked about it in past weeks. Exactly. We talk about that like a few weeks back. Two weeks back, yeah. When you could, whenever, whenever you can make two limbs become one limb, whether you're escaping or you're on offense, right? Defense or offense, yeah. same thing. Exactly, exactly. And I, I really like this movement. I really like the this detail. See my elbow, what I said? Look, sitting right there, rest on his leg all the way up. Step to the same side. Same side, always same foot on the floor. For new that, grapplers, mm -hmm. why... Why are you stepping? Why are you stepping to the side you're gripping? Because if I put my other leg, uh, you know, again, when I learned, it was like, that's wrong. Nothing's wrong anymore because people are adapting for many games. Right. But what I can tell you for sure is this. If you put the other foot on the floor, you make it easier for your opponent to hug and try to pendle, sweep you, umbar, and a couple other things too. That's why I have the semi side, semi army that I'm controlling, semi foot goes on the floor. And when you step up, do you try to keep that other foot away from him? Yes, as I step up, yes. But uh, the momentum that I'm getting up, after I'm up on my feet, then I can bring it back. Doesn't matter. And I do a little detail. You you can see on the detail video here that I do a little detail how to get up. So how I do is I go with my toes on the floor and then I do the big step. Okay, gotcha. And see the cross. There and we go. It looks like you're to solidify that side control position. You're kind of doing that S sit, right? Like yeah. you're you're but yeah. you're putting the knee in his hip. I put it on his hip. Yes. You don't want him to escape. You don't want him to repull. So I, you're controlling the position. The I'm whole controlling time. the position all the time. Yeah, yeah. And see how I cross his leg. That's very uncomfortable. Can he just brah, open it? Up? He can, but when he does, I'll be on the side to control already. Right. So why am I on my feet and I get the cross grip? 
it's hard to break. Once I pass and I get the side control, he can explode his leg. He is going to break my grip. But I'm on the side control already. Any details for aspiring grapplers or advanced guys? Yeah, the, the, the biggest detail that I tell you, Pete, is this. Uh, when you get up, get used to the balance. So if you get, get on your feet after you get up and you still feel that you're a little shaking, yeah. like you got to keep moving to get your balance, work on that. Because to open a guard, stand, in my opinion, standing up, it's one of the best ways to open guard. Best ways, in my opinion. And, but you need to find your balance. You need to find your base. You need to stay stronger on your feet. That's what you got to work for. Once you feel comfortable and stronger on your balance, that you feel you're not wobbling around, you can start to work the passes, for sure, for sure. I, I would have drill a lot that, a lot. Man, I really like this technique. Thank you. Another successful week of Always. BJJ awesome. Weekly. Thank you very Masters much, Masters Mindset pad Podcast, whatever it's we called. we got to come up with the name, man. One of these weeks we will. We will. It's going to pop. Thanks, Adek. Thank Appreciate you, Pete. It. Thanks so much. See you next week.